to say a proper thank you uh, to citizens of our state who have given up their time to serve AKT with commitment, with passion, with diligence, with integrity and with generosity of spirit. What is happening today is a dream come true for many of us because it gives us a sense of fulfillment and a sense of knowledge that when you do well ultimately goodness and mercy shall always follow you there may be trying moments there may be periods of uh, pretense and denial but history will still record it on the right side that you have served your people with every fiber in your being in order to make a fundamental difference in their lives. That's precisely the point that the Honorable Commissioner made in reference to this particular edifice, the Ekiti House here in Abuja, which of course started a little more than eight years ago, uh, 2001 and was commissioned in 2003. So uh, it, it was a, a project that had uh, taken at least a better part of the last decade to uh, be put here. And it serves as a living legacy, as many other projects of the time that Otumba Adebayo served as governor and of the commitment that he put into the office when he was governor. The same is true of all our other honorees, uh, our KBSCs. Uh, Papa Adia Jai was unable to join us because he's a little frail. Uh, he's not getting any younger. Uh, but um, his service to Nigeria, to humanity, has earned him a lot of kudos. Uh, not just here, but outside the country. And for us in Ikiti, we are always proud to know that Professor Adia Jai is one of us from Ikiti State. Uh, Air Vice Marshal retired, Ernest Adele also uh, served the country in a variety of capacities as a military administrator, as a deputy commandant at the Defense Academy, as a uh, a senior officer in the Air Force, he, he served Nigeria well, even lately as uh, chairman of the governing council of uh, the College of Education in AKT State. And for us, this effort is a non-partisan effort. It is the reason why you would see uh, a distinguished citizen of AKT who never hesitates 
to associate with the government. Uh, even though we're not of the same political hue, we, we, we used to be, and um, I'm sure very soon we'll figure out how to get him back to the progressive camp. Uh, but uh, you are not listening, Honorable Minister. <laughs> Minister, because at every opportunity, he uh, is continued to do that for which Ekiti is known out here in Abuja. Uh, I knock on his doors for a variety of things. We go to the president together to fight for Ekiti interest. And I think that is the way it should be if we're from Ekiti. We should do whatever we can when we are in the position of authority to assist our people in any way God has given us the uh, opportunity to do. And uh, this is precisely one of the legacies that Otuba Adeni Adebayo left uh, in office. And one of the things that those of us who have come behind him uh, continuously try to emulate is was politics without bitterness in the most uh, in the most adulatory sense of it. Because at no time would you find Otuba relate to people just on the strength of being members of his own political party or political family alone. For him, every citizen of AKT was deserving of attention and he continues to operate in that way. And it's very difficult for those of us who are associated with him to behave otherwise. Because for us, AKT belongs to us all. And we're particularly unique in the sense that we are one people of one stock of one interest pretty much. Uh, and to that extent, we have to do everything to continue to promote the interests and the values of our people wherever we are. I don't want to spend too much time talking because the minister has reminded me that we need to get quickly to the pounded yam so that uh, it won't go cold. Even though you know, is not a bad idea in the kitchen, we like it. Uh, but um, I think we want to eat this one fresh. We don't want it to be in your uh, Thank you very much. Thanks for coming because this was put together in a very short Thursday. Uh, thank you. I have to say a very, very, very big thank you to each and every one of you. We feel most honored and we are most grateful that we have been honored in this way today. On a personal note, I must thank most sincerely my friend, my brother, my successor, because he is the one that succeeded me in the office. His Excellency, Governor Kyle Fayemi. You have been a true friend, a true brother to me. Not only to me personally, but to me by what you are doing in the Kitty State today. I am very, very happy. I am very, very glad. And I pray that God will continue to give you the wisdom and the favor to be able to lead our people aright. Today is a very, very emotional day for me. It is one of the most emotional days for me since I left office. This award came to me as a very, very big surprise because I had long given up that uh, I would ever be awarded for anything. But when I was informed that I had been nominated and the nomination had been approved, very, 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 very happy. And I feel very humbled by all you have all said today. What I did as governor I did because of my love and my belief in Ekiti State. I did not do it for personal aggrandizement. I did it because I believed that we as Ekiti people must move our state forward. I'm happy that the governor is doing so, and I have no doubt that the prayers that you have all prayed that he will exceed me in terms of achievement in office that God will answer those prayers and make it so. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for the honor that you have done me today, that you have done my family. I thank the people of Ekiti who gave me the opportunity to serve them. 
But if the people had not voted for me, I would not have been in a position to be of service. I thank our people and I dedicate this award to the good people of the city. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>